In 1836, when Colonel William Light first sailed up the Port River, he proclaimed, there's no safer place or more commodious harbour in the world. And he was right. The merchant ships came and came and Port Adelaide's importance as this state's commercial hub was forged. There's so much to find out about the port's rich commercial history and vibrant business landscape and Lynn Hay, Chief Executive of the Adelaide Business Hub, is the best person to tell us. Lynn, what do you love so much about the port? Look, I, I think from my point of view, I've been working in the port for nearly 19 years now and its sense of history, it's like no other place. You're virtually the same distance from the city as um, Glenelg is. Where is Port Adelaide in terms of a business sense right now? It's definitely on the up at the moment. The developments in defence, uh, the naval shipbuilding contract has been um, estimated to bring $134 billion in um, economic growth and development to South Australia. And of course, Port Adelaide here is right in the hub of it. It's estimated that there'll be some 20,000 downstream jobs coming from those defence contracts. Uh, as well as 8,000 jobs directly from that sector. You're part of the Adelaide Business Hub, you're the CEO. That's right. What's your role? Uh, basically, uh, the Adelaide Business Hub has a couple of arms to it. We are supported by the City of Port Adelaide Enfield and we have a 1,500 square metre property right in the heart of the Heritage Precinct of Port Adelaide. And it's really our job to attract startups and established small businesses to the port area, particularly those people that are innovators and entrepreneurs and want to start something new. We've had a lot of startup companies come to us over the last five years or so, um, and they're people who are aged, interestingly, uh, in their 40s and 50s. So there's a new breed of entrepreneur and innovator that far from contemplating retirement is actually uh, looking to start that new business venture and um, explore new avenues. The great success story and one of many is uh, a guy called Bronte Eckerman who started a company called Zing International and for those of your viewers that uh, may well follow cricket you quite often see the bales that light up and so it's new technology and Bronte uh, decided to locate his business in Port Adelaide. He resides in our hub as a start-up venture and is now exporting overseas with, uh, with that product. The pubs are reviving as well and they're really catering to the tourism and also the business market in particular. Back in the 1900s, the port boasted 75 pubs. With plenty of ships docking and thirsty sailors, it was great for business. And while the sailors have disappeared, and many of the pubs, the port's oldest watering hole has survived and is booming. The Port Admiral Hotel recently reopened about six months ago after being closed for close to a decade. A large renovation internally, externally. The Port Admiral Hotel is the oldest existing building in Port Adelaide. So 1849, there were older buildings, but they've since gone. So it's, uh, it's pretty special in that regard. Uh, a couple of ghosts and uh, a really lovely community that has sort of embraced it really since it opened. Great friends of ours who we brew a beer with, Pirate Life, are opening a brewery just down the road. Doing business in the port is really, really exciting because of uh, a host of opportunities. Anything's possible. The other huge exciting development in Port Adelaide that many may not be aware of yet is the size of this urban renewal in the port. So there are some 21 hectares of prime waterfront land that's being developed uh, into um, residential accommodation. It will actually flow through the entire inner harbour. So there'll be 2,600 new residents in the port. There'll be 1,150 new apartments. Where else can you live and work by Australia's last harbour that is going through some exciting opportunities for growth? For more information on how you can become part of the port's business success, head to the City of Port Adelaide Enfield's website. I really